Did you know, for example, 3% of people have answered their mobile phone while making love? Sorry, can't talk now, just going into a tunnel. 50% of the British population are dieting at any one time. Sadly, not lunchtime. <laughs> and, according to estimates, Google's index contains as many as 25 billion web pages. I don't want to worry anyone, but I've just pressed print all. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. We've teamed up with a leading polling organisation and they've asked the British nation what stories they've been discussing this week. It's our palace job to guess the British public's top five most popular talking points. Sean, Claudia, Phil, what have the nation been talking about this week? Wimbledon. Everyone's been talking about Wimbledon. They all got excited about that little boy Murray. He was doing well. Big whooping, Murray mound, kissing himself, Popeye, and then not. Are you just doing word association, aren't you? Yes, yes. <laughs> I found that Andy Murray slightly irritating. You found him irritating? The whole kissing of the muscles and all of that. His actual aim, I read this, it's quite funny, he said he credits his, uh, his newfound health to his diet. He said, and at one lunch sitting, he had 42 pieces of sushi. But he's hoping to get to 60 pieces of sushi. <laughs> That's what he wants. And I just got this idea of, you know those machines that fire tennis balls at you? Yeah. <laughs> he just gets one of those and fills it with sushi and just stands there going... <laughs> there was actually six complaints into the BBC because uh, Nadal kept scratching his ass during the... Uh... <laughs> As if someone from the BBC is going to go out and go, excuse me, can you stop picking your ass? <laughs> the whole thing about his style of tennis is about his balance, which comes from his bottom. I think it's integral to the tennis, and Claudia probably agrees as well, as a tennis connoisseur. And, yes. And a, and a lady who likes a fine bottom. <laughs> but, but I think you need to focus on his bottom. I don't understand who these people are who bothers to complain. My favourite complaint was on the channel Babe Station, where the three women have the boobs out, they've got a pair of knickers on. People ring up and, 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 and get off right for £1.50 a minute. Now, some bloke complained because one of the women showed a little bit of front garden, right? And again, at what point are you watching going, oh, this is brilliant, this is... Oh, no, you've gone too far now! <laughs> Do you know what me and Gabby did recently? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> me and Gabby did an evening with Sven Goran Eriksson. What do you mean, an evening? It's a charity. <laughs> and you did, like, a Q&A thing, didn't did you? Did you not get paid? <laughs> 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 oh, Jason, you're so new to this. Gabby <laughs> <laughs> well, Let's have a look and see if Wimbledon's one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> yes, it is. The most talked about thing is Wimbledon. Andy Murray could have beaten Nadal, all he needed was a slightly different strategy and a magic racket strung with dreams. <laughs> the crowd at Wimbledon got right behind Andy Murray as they queued at the exit. <laughs> Jason, Gabby, Mark, what else have the nation been talking about this week? Well, I think it's got to be the Royals. They're on their arse, aren't they? They've got no money. Apparently, they're so strapped for cash that they were thinking about setting up a premium-rate phone line. Uh, what, so what's that? What, what are you wearing? A tiara. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that getting off? Have you got my scepter in your hand? Yeah, it was like, it was a bit <laughs> weird. Because <laughs> like, yeah. you'd have to ring it, wouldn't you? You'd have to ring it. Just like, dial one for one. <laughs> dial two for a racist rant from one's husband. <laughs> for Prince Harry, press the hash key. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, it? Classic, yeah. it does seem extraordinary, but they are saying they're strapped for cash. They don't have any money. Well, can't they do a sponsored run or something? Oh. <laughs> I think they should what? do a calendar. The Queen yeah. should do a calendar, yeah. and over this nipple, she has a sceptre, mm -hmm. and that nipple, a corgi's nose. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But it's ironic, because you've got Charles trying to save the planet, obviously. Yeah. And he's filling his car up with wine. Wine and, and cheese. cheese, yeah. Of um, course you are, Charles. Of <laughs> yeah. course you are. <laughs> <laughs> filling his car up with cheese. The bloke has finally gone mental. He, he talked for plants for years, we let it go, we let it go. He swapped Diana for Camilla, we let it go, right? <laughs> he's gone too far, too far this time. If I swapped Diana for Camilla, you mean his wife tragically died? <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, let's have a look and see whether the uh, Royals' finances is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> Yes, this is the story that the royals are apparently strapped for cash. In other royal news, the naval ship carrying Prince William has seized £40 million worth of cocaine. So, 200 sailors and £40 million worth of cocaine. It's either the biggest drug bust in naval history or Elton John has fallen off the wagon. <laughs>
In other news, Amy Winehouse has joined the Navy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those clips. Uh, if you want to watch full episodes of 8 Out of 10 Cats, then you can on my YouTube channel. Um, just, you know, search for it on YouTube and you'll find it, because it's there. <laughs>